What is up, Tube of the U? It's your boy Marcus Jones. This is Jones in for Pokemon, and today we are Jones in for some dollar store. Pokemon cards. That's right, dollar store Pokemon cards. Will I regret this? We shall soon find out. And these aren't your normal dollar store Pokemon cards. I know a lot of you are used to the Dollar General or Dollar Tree Pokemon cards where you could get three cards inside the pack for one dollar. Now you are not guaranteed a hollow rare or better in the pack, but you can pull any card from that set. Unfortunately, I do not reside in the United States of America. So in Canada, we have these three pack cards right over here. Three premium cards, hollows and rares. So in this pack for $2.50, you are guaranteed hollows or better. I don't know if there's gonna be ultra rares, we shall soon find out, but it was $2.50. I have 10 packs with me right over here. Now, instead of just opening these packs, I thought might as well try to compare it because on this channel, I love to compare and do in video challenges. So we're gonna compare it against $25 worth because there's 10 packs here at 250. We're gonna do $25 worth of sealed products. So I have the Sword and Shield base set. I have five packs here, which equate to $25. So we're gonna open up five packs and see if we can get better pulls in the five packs or $25 worth in the three premium card packets. Let me know if you guys have opened up these before down in the comments below. So we'll start off with the $10 store packs, then we'll go into the sealed products. So we'll set that off to the side. I have some trusty scissors here. So let's just get right into these. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified cutting into them. I don't use scissors much for opening up packs. So I thought the last thing I wanted to do was cut into them. So let us begin. Did I cut them enough? I did not cut them enough. So we might have to fine tune as we go, folks. Let's see what the first pack holds here. So we have on both sides a card facing downwards and a middle card. So my guess is the middle card is best. Let's see, so we have, oh, Galarian Darmanitan. So we have a Galarian Darmanitan Reverse Hollow. If there's anything worth mentioning, I'll put the price down below for these cards. So we have that. We have a Bills Analysis and a Gumshoes for the first pack. So we'll set that off right up to the side. All right, so not too bad. I mean, three rares in a pack. Uh, let's see what we have is this one. Oh, Reverse Hollow. Cursed Shovel, which is that a rare? No, it is not. It is an uncommon card. So they aren't guaranteed all hollows, uh, all rares. Um, I am completely messed up here. Toxic Croak, which is a rare. And what do we have here? The Whizcash. So, so far, two out of three and three out of three. So not too shabby. All right, pack number three. Will we get any ultra rares? That would be wild. So we have a Voltor Reverse Hollow. So I'm gonna change up the pack trick here. We have a Kangaskhan, not too shabby, and a Latias, which I don't think I've actually pulled this card specifically. So we have a Latias non-holo. So, so far they've all been reverse hollows. Could we actually get a holo rare? That is to be seen, folks. So let's see, can we get a holo? So we're gonna actually send that to the back, do this card trick here. So we have an Agislash. We have a Unpheasant, not too shabby, and we have a Oleana, 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 I guess it's Oleana. So far, no hollow rares, but we're not guaranteed a hollow rare in the five sword and shield packs either. So we shall see what we get. So we have a, ooh, Arcanine, non hollow, which is a rare. We have a Sigalif, not too shabby. And the foil card is a Heliolisk which is not a rare. A bit rough, a bit rough, but I mean, it's dollar store cards. It's to be expected. Uh, we have here a Vile Plume. That's pretty cool. Some Kanto throwback right over there. We have Galarian Perserker, not too shabby, which is, yes, a rare. And for the foil, we have a Palpitoad. If you guys want to see me open more dollar store cards or go to other stores and find random stuff, throw a like down below that would be greatly appreciated looking for three and a half likes if you guys haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button i'm doing basically a couple of videos a week now so we have a crap abominable which is a rare we have a butterfree which is i believe a rare also of course why wouldn't it be and for the foil we have a bell toy uh reverse hollow so no hollow rares let's see we have what three packs left oh jesus can we get one holo rare? Is it even possible? Let us see. So we have here, boom, we have Mandibuzz, 
we have a Barascuda. And for the last uh, card here, we have, oh, there we go. A Hollow Gyarados. Don't mind if I do, that is pretty sweet. I have not pulled this card, so it is going straight to the collection. So we have one Hollow Rare, but I mean, now I'm curious for those five packs, will we have a Hollow Rare or better? Let us soon find out, that goes straight to the back. So, I mean, there is Hollow Rares. There's still a chance. Now, Ultra Rares, probably not, but we have, oh, I didn't even, sorry. We have a Slow King, which is pretty cool. It's a Psychic type here and not water. We have a Ninetales. And we have here a Squovit Reverse Hollow. So far, we're one for nine, which is not the best, but hey, so that's straight to the back. Let's get into it. Ooh, nice Snorlax. Here we go. We have a Drapion. Pretty sweet. Looking for the shiny in Pokemon Go. Let me know if you guys play Pokemon Go down below. And then for the final card, we have a Lampent reverse hollow now i haven't checked the price on these cards but i'm pretty sure nothing was worthwhile maybe the gyarados is like a buck i have no idea let us see what we could get in these five packs here from sword and shield base set so we're going to start off here with the zamazenta then we have two lapras and two snorlaxes now let us see if we could beat it one ultra rare would guarantee beat the dollar store packs uh another thing here code card not too shabby here the uh, dollar store cards don't have code cards that's another thing i failed to mention but let's get right into it. Um, curious what your guesses were, if it's gonna be the sealed product or the dollar store packs. We have Trudel, Blip Bug, Reverse Hollow Krabby, which deals 120 damage. That is absolutely insane for a common card here. And for the first rare, we have a Claydol non hollow So I mean, so far, hey, dollar store is somehow in the lead still, but that could change in one pull. So we got here is the gold card. Two, three, four. All right, let's see, let's see. My guess is gonna be the the second Lapras pack will have an ultra rare. Let's see, ooh, Glaring Pony Dot, love that card. I got that Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Pretty sweet, Ponyard, Ferrothorn, Reverse Hollow. Is that a rare? It is not a rare. And for the rare, we have a Bikini V right there, there we go. I should have said first Lapras. Um, I, I bit my tongue on that one, but there we go, Victini V. I don't think I actually pulled this card yet. I'll have to check the collection, but that is a sweet, sweet looking card. I love how the eye is super shiny, holographic, reflective. Let's get a sleeve here. I did bring some sleeves just in case, but the sealed products have done their job. So we got right here a Victini V right there. So, I mean, case closed. Sealed is better than the dollar store packs, but I had to try it. Curiosity, if you guys find any Pokemon stuff that you want me to buy to try out, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to give it a go. I'm very curious when it comes to that. You never know where you're gonna get the next fire pulls. So we got here Corvusquire, Maractus, Pikachu, whoa, that flew, uh, Glaring Meowth, Sizzlipede, Wooloo, we have Mudbray, Reverse Hollow, and the next pack is a Clay Doll non hollow So the Clay Dolls are taking over. But let's get into the last two packs here, Snorlax. Let us see what we got. Cold card. Two, three, four. I hope everyone's day is going well. Energy, we have Lucky Egg, Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Baltoy, Chinchu, Krabby, Minchino, Galarian Panita, Pharaoh Seed, Reverse Hollow, and we have a Lapras VMAX. Woo! There we go. Holy smokes. Do not have this in the collection. What a holy smokes. Snorlax, you have brought it today. Jesus. Holy smokes. I did not expect to pull this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful card. Wow. I am shocked. Let's stop breathing on it. Let's get a sleeve into that. Holy smokes, Lapras VMAX. There we go. Let's put that right up there. Pharaoh Seed. Did we pull both of our Ultra Rares on Pharaoh? Oh no, we had a Pharaoh Thorn and a Pharaoh Seed. So they have both brought me good luck here. Look at that. Pharaoh Seed and Pharaoh Thorn, you did your job. 
you led me to the promised land here. So let's get into this last pack. And before we do, I just want to mention on my last video, I did a giveaway that you have a chance to win on my next video coming up. I opened up a Pikachu figure collection box from Sword and Shield, and I'm going to give away all the promos from the uh, Sobble, Score Bunny, and Grookey. So if you guys want your chance to win those promos, go watch that video and you can find out how to win it for the next video coming up. So let's get into the last pack here. I am shocked. I'm just looking down at that Lapras and I am mesmerized. That is sweet. Can we get the Snorlax rainbow? That would be absolutely wild. Now I'm just being greedy, but let's get into it. Throw a like up for that Lapras card. Goodness. Galarian Linoon, Rotom Bike, Goldeen, Rosalia, Joltik, Silly Cobra. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, I was a bit worried there. Sobble, speaking of the giveaways, we have here the reverse Sobble. And for the last pack here, we have a more Petco VMAX. What is going on here? <laughs> the sealed products absolutely destroyed it. Goodness gracious, look at that. Um, I hate to sound like a broken record, but I'm pretty sure I don't have this either in the collection. But look at that. In five packs, can you even get better? I don't even know. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. I'm looking for three and a half likes. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and hope you guys have a good one. And remember, at the end of the day, we're all just jonesing for Pokemon. Catch you in the next video.